Hi everyone, I just wanted to make a very quick video about Unity's animation system. So Unity has a very simple, nice built-in animation system that we can use if we just wanted to make some simple things happen within our scene. So let's say if we wanted to get this cube to move up and down for some reason. Now we can write a bunch of code to make it do that, or we can also use the animation system. So what we can do is we can go into window, we can go into animation, and then click animation again. So we'll see what that did was it brought up the animation tab. And um, as you might see later on, it's actually quite useful to have it just situated in here so we can see our scene, but also still work on the animation. So you can see that currently the cube doesn't have any animations attached to it. So what we can do is we just press create and then let's just call that cube cute <laughs> cute cube test. It can be anything you want. So you can see what Unity did now is it automatically added a animator component. Um, and then now there's a cube controller. And then now there's also a cube test animation. So now what we can do is we can start recording what we call keyframes. And then I'll just show you what that means. We just press the record button. And then we said we wanted to make this bob up and down, right? So let's make it go down first. So now you can see that these two dots have popped up. So what that did was it recorded the modification that we did to the attributes of this object. So um, it also recorded its absolute coordinates. You can see that if we move it down, you can see that the Y coordinates change over here. Um, and then that's one keyframe, but an animation needs at least to move between two different states. So if you wanted it to move up and down, let's um, maybe go to one second. So I think this is one second here, and um, I don't think that's one minute. There'll be a very slow moving animation if it is one minute. Um, but then you can see that there is nothing here right now. So there are dots here. If we wanted to add more dots, we just need to go ahead and move the object again. And then we recorded some dots. So essentially what this did was it recorded the state of the key frames. So the key frames basically just tells Unity that this is the goal of where you want it to end up with. And then it's up to Unity to decide what to do in between. So you can see that it's very smooth. So that's one half of the animation moving up and down. Uh, but if we were just to press play, uh, you can see that this animation is going to make it constantly move up. It just constantly moves up in one second. But that's not very natural, or maybe that's what you want to do and you can just stop there. But if we wanted it to loop nicely, what we can do, let's just go back to the animation here, um, is just copy this keyframe here and then put it at the two second mark. So it's going to bob up and down uh, in a two second cycle. See, it's bobbing up and down in a two second cycle. And um, you can also preview the animation. Just uh, You just need to click off and click back on again uh, if it doesn't show up the animation toolkit, uh, the animation tab. You can, you can preview the animation by pressing play like that. And you can kind of see what it's doing, right? So it's going from the beginning state to the, well, the bottom state the up state and then what we did there by copying the beginning state back to the final state is it's smoothly making it move back to the initial state and then it means it's ready to begin again. Uh, now position is not the only attribute that we can record. So if we wanted to make this cube glow for example we can just um, use any old material here um, I don't know, let's say if we wanted to have the, um, if we wanted this to have like a wood material, we'll just put that onto there. Um, and then you can see 
that this now has a material over here and then we can edit the um, uh, the, the state of the materials so the base map here we can kind of move kind of change the tint of it so if you wanted to make it kind of just feel a little bit weird feel a little bit um, ghostly uh, we can also include that in our animation system so if we just go back to the animation system um, and then press record again so now unity knows that we want to record some states for the keyframe so we just put the different states or so like choose which part of the animation sequence we want to record the keyframe on so I guess in this case we'll I'll just put it over there and then I'm going to change the color to something darker and then if we preview the animation again you can see that um, it transitioned from the default bright color from before to the darker colors and you can kind of see what it's being recorded there as attributes there um, but um, can just copy and copy the default thing so you can see that I'm just clicking the very specific attributes that I want to copy now which is basically just the default color of the base material um, that we had at the very beginning uh, and then if we just put it over here you can kind of now see that it's very subtly changing between those two tints um, you can obviously just move this keyframe along here so to change the rate of the glowing as you can see it's sort of like um, it glows darker as it goes up you can you can you can make it go as crazy as you want um, it was still in record mode let's maybe make it red in the intervening period and then I don't know oh, well let's get it go back to the beginning state and then maybe it's going to be yellow um, yeah in the 1.5 second mark so you can kind of do lots of different things but yeah that's the very very basic principle of the unity animation system um, now it can get quite a bit complicated uh, so but uh, yeah that's uh, it's it's based on keyframes uh, and if you have a look at the next step, it doesn't have to be a static animation that's always um, going all the time without any control. We can also use states to do that. So if you look at this door, we can just go ahead and open the door, and then we can also close the door. Uh, but that is, how that works is explained in another video that's a little bit more complicated than this. I just wanted this to be a very simple introduction to the unity animation system so the key points are uh, it's based on keyframes and the way to update the keyframes is to press the record button and then just go ahead and update any attributes you want here and it will just record those keyframes